I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. So, where do I sleep tonight? Um, it's a heart-shaped bed. It doesn't fit two of us. Let's just say it's a girl's night. Well, I hope it's not a girl's night every night and forever. So welcome back to my show and I'm still in Barbie the movie mood. Let's make the bedroom. First, let's make the heart shape pattern. Well, it's not actually a heart because the head part is a simple straight line. Of course, it's gonna be a ridiculous idea to make a full heart shape bed, especially the head part, right? So this is it, the almost heart shape bed. Just do trial and error until you're happy with your size and shape. And duplicate the pattern and use one of them to make the headboard pattern. This is how. Once again, just do trial and error. I'm going to explain you later why is it has to be in this size. And yes, of course, you can use a ruler to draw perfect straight lines. Once again, duplicate the pattern with a little difference like this. So this is the second headboard pattern. Let's skip it and we're doing this first. So don't forget to give the coat to every part and trace it to a cardboard piece like this. And trace it to another sponge piece like this. I'm using 3 millimeters sponge. And trace it to the fabric like this, in this size, I'm using stretch velvet fabric and of course, pink. So glue them together using hot glue until you're having this shape. So I have no secret or any particular technique except using stretchy fabric. Look how easy it is. And let's arrange them on a second pattern of the headboard like this start from the middle and here it is of course you can cover it with anything you like if you want but I'm gonna leave it this way because it's not gonna be seen anyway and let's go back to the main part of the bed trace the heart shape to a cardboard and sponge like this and glue them together and also cut pieces of cardboard like this and this is the cardboard texture direction should be so you can do this so we'll be able to follow the shape of the heart like this except for the head part just do this and let's glue them together using hot glue Finish all the part and this is it. To double secure some joints, I put a little extra paper like this. Now let's put the bed sheet on. I'm using cotton. It doesn't have to be the stretchy one because you just have to do this using hot glue. And let's cover the side part. You can sew the edge or glue it like this. Of course, I'm gonna glue it because I'm a glue person. And put it right here. You don't have to do this part. Glue it like this. Flip it 
and don't forget to glue the inside part like this. Now I'm going to explain what's the use of this space. It's going to be my storage space like this. Oops, I have to cut it. It's okay. Voila! And you can store the other bed accessories later. While, let's continue to the headboard part. I'm not gonna glue it permanently to the bed. It looks easier but it's not gonna be easy to store it. So this is what I do. And glue them together using hot glue and here it is! So simple but so useful. Look! The bed main body is done, let's continue to the accessories. Let's make the round pillows. So this is the easiest no-shoe idea I can think of. Of course, it's not exactly the same but I hope it's okay. All you need are pieces of cardboard like this and 3mm sponge, put it like this, some more paper like this any kind of thick paper another sponge and of course the fabric let's put them all together one is going to be the back part but I'm gonna do something to the front part I'm gonna sew it a little bit so if you have a sewing machine and you have another better idea to make the pillow of course it's gonna be better but if you're a glue person like me of course this is the easiest voila the pillows are done. Let's continue to the blanket. So this is the previous pattern I kept. Make another bigger one about this big and trace it to the fabric like this. I'm using two kind of fabric, plain cotton and sequin fabric. The sequin is kind of transparent thin fabric so we need another layer to cover it. So let's sew them together. I don't recommend you to glue it. The sequin fabric is kind of difficult to glue. The glue will be all over your finger and it's so hot. So just do this. But don't forget to flip the fabric so you can do this later. And let's continue to sew the last part of it. I'm not really good at sewing so I'm just gonna do the best I can. And here's the result of my sequin blanket. Voila! A heart-shaped blanket to fit the size of the bed. And then using any kind of thick paper, let's make the storage box cover. Trace the previous pattern into a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger shape. And then make this. So this is how I fold thick paper easily so you have to score it using a cutter before and then just follow what I'm doing so you don't have to make it perfectly because it's not gonna be seen it's just for the storage and this is it the thing we will need after playing
So this is the storage idea I was talking about. Now you get it. I hope it looks like enough and the next thing I'm going to make are the lamps. These holographic lamps are actually designer items and let's try our best to duplicate them. This is some holographic paper I can found online. I really hope you can also find it in your country. So this one is sticker paper, just like this one. But this is the transparent kind one like this. And I think it has the most similar color with the lamp we were talking about. And then this one is not a sticker paper, it's a cardstock like this. Maybe I can use it for something else. Let's do it! So I try to find anything I can use around the house, like this paper roll and this leftover Pringles container. And another container like this. Cut it so I can get these parts. With some leftover boba straw, I think I can make a desk lamp like this. It's kind of hard to make a shape like this yourself. And then cover it with white color and we will need some wooden dowel like this. Before putting them together into a lamp, you need to add the color. Of course, with the holographic paper like this. Just do the best you can. I know I know I'm not so happy about this either. This is so not smooth. Well, let's just put them all together and just consider it as the design. And another mess I made. Look at this part. Well, that's okay. It doesn't have to be all perfect. And as the side table, because I'm lazy enough to make it from scratch, I just try to find anything from the kitchen. Just put them all together and voila! So the table is originally my design, I hope you like it. And I hope the lamps are close enough to the original. What do you think? hope you like my show don't forget to leave your comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in my other show bye